Taz Ryan, Carolina Warrior TV up here in Hickory, North Carolina for Fight Four at Six. A lot of good MMA fights. Let's take a look at the highlights and some of the interviews from the winners. We saw a fight. Ahmed Thomas versus Michael Harden. Both guys have experience inside the cage. And unlike the kickboxing matches, this fight would end very early in the first round with Michael Harden choking Muhammad. And I asked Micah about his training. I just uh, transferred over to Jim Mo's over in Gastonia. Yeah. They have a lot of killers, and all they're doing is just basically sharpening up all yeah, the tools absolutely. that I have. N knowing those guys, talking about Jimmo there, they're, they're real killers down there. I've known those, a lot of those guys for a while. Just talk about that experience now from transferring to one school to that one. Oh, man. From cardio, wrestling, striking, strength, it doesn't matter, man. They're going to push you to the limit. I thought I knew what I was doing. I thought I was a bad dude, but... They showed me that I'm still a beginner in the game. A whole other level out there. Absolutely. Who do you want to thank for this fight? As quick as it was, who do you want to thank? I definitely want to thank everybody in Gastonia. Thank you, Dylan, for being in my corner. Everybody else that came out. I also want to take this second to thank Dallas and Will. Those are my brothers. They've been with me from the beginning. They'll be with me to the end. And last but not least, I'd like to say happy birthday to my little brother. It was his birthday two days ago. And also, I love you, Mom. There you go. Congratulations to you. Thank guys. you. Brady, I've got some good news and some bad news. I did not actually get the fight because it happened so quick. But the guys from uh, Fight For It actually got the official video, so they have it out there. So uh, it, was, it was an arm bar. So can we just demonstrate in graphic detail how? <laughs> yes. no, no, never mind. No. <laughs> no, let's not do that. Uh, how do you feel first fight inside the cage? Feel good. He uh, he dropped me with a good shot and then caught him with the arm bar. So it, it it seems like you had for somebody to pick up the arm bar. That's one of the I don't want to say basic things, but it's a, a very finite technique if you got to get it right, especially in MMA. Uh, how's the training? How was the training for you leading up to this fight? Awesome. Yeah, great coach, great training partners. Who do you want to thank? Uh, everybody that helped me, coaches, teammates, everybody. Moving on to some of the bigger boys, it's Jeff Henry versus Cody Reese. Jeff comes in with a 2-6 and six record, but Cody comes in undefeated at 3 and 0. This fight would go all the way to the third round. The ref saw Jeff's hand go up, and he stopped the fight right there. And I ask Cody, what's next for him? Uh, I gotta get back in the gym. Trying to uh, go down a weight class, you know, I used to fight at 55 and then guys dropped out, so I had to fight at 85. So get back in the gym, learn my, from my mistakes from this fight, and get to the next fight. You got the victory. What were the sort of the mistakes that you saw in yourself in that fight? Uh, I definitely, I mean, he hit me with a, a, a jab that should have never hit me. Yeah. Uh, I was dropping my hands um, and swinging a little wild, you know. It's been a year and a half, so I was a little nervous. Uh, I, I wanted to be a daddy for a year. So uh, I got a one-year-old, uh, one so shout out to her. Um, so dropping my hands, and I had to set up my shot a little better. I'm a wrestler, so I had to time it right. And some of them I got them, but some of them I should have got them a lot more. So that was, my, that was my mistakes. And I'll run it back and see what else I made a mistake on. Absolutely. All right, who do you want to thank? I want to thank my fiance, uh, my little girl, Georgia Lee. She better be asleep. <laughs> uh, my like teammates. That. Yeah, yeah, my teammates and uh, my family, and I love them. And shout out my dad, uh, rest in peace, daddy, I love you, and I miss you. Division, some new blood in the 135 weight division. It's Jacob Dalton versus Samuel Cornertown. This fight would go into the second round, and it would be a submission by rear naked choke for Samuel Cornertown. And I asked Sam how it felt to step inside the cage for the first time. Oh, yeah, it was. A little more challenging than I expected, but I'm kind of glad for it. Really opens my eyes to a lot of things. Makes me feel more accomplished, actually. And I'm sort of glad you mentioned eyes, because I ran over there after I did the last interview with the other guy, and you got pushed, kicked away from the cage. And your eyes were as big as saucers. <laughs> what was that just nerves of the uh, adrenaline pumping for you? Um, do you think? I think a little bit of the adrenaline. Whenever he did it, I was like, okay, I see you had to move in quick, because yeah. I, I knew that my strength was going to be on the ground, and I didn't want him to get that separation. Absolutely. Who do you want to thank? Uh, Scott Clausen, uh, Chad, who's, 
I'm too dazed to <laughs> say his last name. Uh, all, everybody at Fight Factory, my family for putting up with me. <laughs> Moving on to the 155 weight class, it's Gabriel Brown versus Billy Jack Cup. Both these guys are veterans inside the cage. Gabriel comes in with two fights underneath his belt already. Billy Jack comes in with seven fights underneath his belt. But this fight will be over in the first round. It's a submission. I will make a choke. We'll try to slow it down. Gabriel Brown tapped there. A lot of people are yelling at the off the ref. Uh, Spiller Jack, did he feel him tap? No, I, I didn't feel him tap, but I heard people saying he tapped. Yeah. And then the ref stopped it and everybody's like, he tapped, he tapped, he tapped. So I'll take it. Shit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you have a big, a strong support system here. Yes, sir. Let's talk about them a little. I got the best family, the best team, the best training partners around. Charlotte Jiu-Jitsu Academy, Team Rock, the Cub family, my girlfriend Becca. She's been with me through everything. I love everybody. I love fighting. Thank you very much. All right, that was pretty quick. You want to do it again? You got what, enough time? What another you, fight? Another fight? Yeah. Man, I'm ready to go party. I got my job done. I'm ready to go party. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank my whole team, Shar Jiu Jitsu Academy, Team Rock, John Piper, my family, everybody came out to watch me, support me. Thank you. I love you guys. You going for a title belt anytime soon? Man, I'll, I fought for a title. My, my last fight was for a title. I didn't get the belt that time. I want the belt. I would love to. Man wants the belt. Congratulations, Thank you, sir. It's the bigger boys inside the cage now. David Cuchello versus Markel Fairwood Jones. David comes in as a newbie inside the cage. Markel has already had three fights underneath his belt. Hit him with a stiff left there and down goes David. Big boy on top of the cage. We move on to Nane versus Dylan Williams. Both guys have had one fight inside the cage. This fight will go all three rounds. Dylan Williams coming up with the unanimous decision. It was 30 27, 29 28, and 29 I asked Dylan how he felt about the fight. Yes, sir, it was back and forth. I just had to put in some heart and get forward with it. Yeah, absolutely. You're now up to uh, 2 and 0. Uh, you got a great group of guys you train with. Tell me a little bit about it. Yes, sir. That. We got all looks and shapes and sizes of people to work with. But I've been working on it, so that's what I've been working on. Who do you want to thank? Everybody. I, this fight was for my uncle who passed away 14 years ago yesterday. I had that cross that fell off. That was for him. And I want to thank my team and my family. Just, It's amazing to have a local promotion that I can fight for. Absolutely. Congratulations. We move on to the fight between Ken and Morris. Now, the short King Ken was trying to redeem himself from the loss back in September. This is his first time inside the camp. Or as long as it lasts, it's a very entertaining fight. In his first appearance inside the cage for Ali Whitman last fall, that long could get knocked out in the first round. Pretty devastating. In the first round, fighting out of the blue corner. And I asked Kendall how he felt. Yeah, okay. It's static, man. I, I, I didn't even know what happened. Yeah. I just kept punching, fucking. He stalked it. I was no words for that, bro. I was, I was surprised. Yeah, was there anything that was sort of uh, different in his game that you noticed, or? Yeah, he was strong. Yeah. He was strong. He came forward. Um, he could take a punch a little bit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it does it. I, I kind of understand it a little bit, but. Yeah, and he sort of got like a double knockout whenever he stood back up and fell back. Oh down. yeah. Sort of that's one thing you can't do though. You no, know, no. Get, your, get your legs first. That's what the ref always says to you. What's next for you? Another knockout. Another knockout? I'm trying to get back in there as soon as possible. Who do you want to thank? Anybody. 170. What's happening? I'm saying I'm free. Um, for real. <laughs> 55, I'll see you at Pro. Yeah. Anybody's ready. Anybody. Yeah, Anybody can get out. it. Kids. Yeah. Right. And somebody's own must go in this fight between Tyler Sigmund and Levi Whitman.
Kyle comes in at 2-0, Levi is in a 3-0 record. A good display of the ground game by Tyler right there. Both men were pretty good, but Tyler got better of him. The second one got him a submission and a better team check. I didn't get to talk to Tyler, but it's a shame. I'll get him next time. We move on to the pro fight. It's the pro debut between both fighters, Dominic Brewer and Dalton Atha. This is a back and forth fight with these two guys. Dalton had a little trouble to start off the fight, but he got his foot in the later rounds. Dominic sort of took over, especially in the latter half of the second round. And then said, third round. That's what really made it. Big swings by both of these guys. You can sort of see that the guy sort of ran out on it going into the going into the third round. But a great fight between both fighters. The Trimmer Brewer getting good. A little more technique to sure. it than, you know, and faster pace, but it's something I trained for. Yeah. Uh, just watching back and forth that fight with uh, uh, Dalton there, mm -hmm. you guys were going back and forth. I felt like it was going back to back yeah. and, uh, I mean, I knew it was going to be like that, that's so why I, I wore white. I wore white because I wanted to get bloody. Yeah. And, um, I knew it was going to be a bang here type of person. I like to stand in front yeah. of the throw, and I like to hit hard. And, yeah. um, you know, we was going blow for blow, but everybody can take a punch, and, you know, you got to have cardio to keep going. I mean, it was a long fight, long, you know, but I, I pulled it out. I was going to say, how much respect do you have a guy like that who steps in the cage and can really, like you said, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you? Man? I mean, I don't care if you can go toe-for-toe -toe with me or not. Anybody that steps in the cage or a man, you know, you get the same amount of respect that I give anybody, you know. Whether we go to distance, I knock you out, you knock me out, man. I was always taught, you fight a command, you get up and shake each other's hands. And whatever y'all problems I had, if not, y'all don't got no problems. I mean, everybody, you know, we here for a sport, man. And I love it, man. I know you had a, it was a while before you fought in North Carolina, South mm -hmm. Carolina. Uh, what are you looking to do now uh, as you just now start off your pro uh, career? Um, going back to training, man, um, like I say, Coming from amateur, you know, you got a little longer rounds, mm -hmm. and it's a little more stuff I got to work on. But yeah. um, I love it, man, and I'm going to keep going until I get it right. And I think they cheated you out of the uh, two yeah. minutes they yeah, uh, first, first round. round. Yeah, man, they got me. They gave me three minutes. And, you can uh, set back up the cage, see if you want to go. In the man, look, I'm ready to go win <laughs> whenever I ever, man. As long as I'm healthy, I'm going to fight. Who do you want to thank? Um, first God, man. But then I got a, a strong, strong uh, support system, man. I got three kids, you know, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and an eight-month-old daughter. And luckily, my girl, she, you know, she's, we got to watch she can stay home and watch the kids while I train. And that's just an, another reason for me to actually keep going and getting better because I got to be able to support them. Absolutely. Delmo, congratulations to you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. My team, my coaches, now that's, that's the last thing, you know. You know, they got to turn off the camera. Oh, no, nah, we can't turn the camera off without shot my team, man. Team Rock down to Harrisburg, man. Coach Snake, Coach Wing, Jordan, Jeremy, man. My guys, Cody Reese, they got the yeah. victory. Uh, uh, Billy Jack got a victory, man. You know, we come out and we come to, you know, we come to win. Absolutely. Can I turn off the camera now? Yeah, you can turn the camera off. Sure. Hey, but bring it back on when I'm fighting again. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. See you next time, everyone.